Dengue cases have fallen for six straight weeks in Singapore, dipping to around 670 cases last week. Now, bear in mind that's far fewer than the nearly 1,800 cases that we were seeing at its height. Still, the National Environment Agency says it's not letting up on its checks for breeding sites, including on vacant state land. Kelly Wong finds out how government agencies, which manage such places, chip in to fight the mosquito-borne disease. It's an empty field, but that doesn't mean no one's on a lookout for a lurking danger. Weekly checks like these make sure mozzies don't get a chance to make their homes on state land, managed by the Singapore Land Authority. Part of the drill includes spraying insecticide to stop the flying foe that carries the dengue virus. And the battle didn't let up during the circuit breaker or after. With COVID right now, you see a lot of things has been on a hold. For example, the grass cutting. So because of that, water starts collecting and becomes conducive. There can be water uh, depressions. And if it's not treated properly, this can be a potential area for mosquito breeding. So during our routine services, our technicians will take pictures of anything that will con be conducive to mosquito breeding, which is given to SLA. Besides getting contractors to help out, SLA also does its own checks every month. Meanwhile, on vacant industrial spaces, government planner JTC Corporation also conducts checks at least once a week across its estates. It's also working with tenants like this aerospace distribution company to wage a war on dengue. Proponents is keeping its strict schedule of weekly and monthly checks. That's especially when most staff are working from home and mozzie sites might not be spotted as quickly as before. I actually briefed the uh, cleaning services workers that, okay, these are the areas that you have to cover so that uh, you will minimize the kind of uh, stagnant water area or even within the building, like the toilet bowls. We actually do more preventive measures like uh, the drink cover. We actually cover it with another wire mesh so that all these debris or leaves will not force into there. And also on the roof, that's where our guys got to climb up there and do the check. JTC also takes in feedback from tenants like Proponent to make infrastructure less mozzie friendly. For instance, it will be giving a makeover to this area over the next few weeks so that pooled water can drain faster when it rains. 